resolution uh, prohibiting the location of a Category 4 licensed casino, casino facility within the borough of Bristol. So moved. Mark Cherry. Second. And Bruce Calarducci. Yes, sir. I'm looking at this one. <laughs> How did this end up? Oh, I know. I know that our solicitor found it. Right. Which is, well, if it, your you know, it was, I know that if we don't do this, we can never prohibit. And these are the, the large casinos in Pittsburgh and around the state. There are what ten licenses? There are ten mini casino licenses. That's, I'm, I'm, these are actually for class fours. These are smaller, right. uh, up to 300 years. I only pass this out informationally because it was given to us. Somebody stuck in the statute an opt-out provision. It, be, it allows you to become a dry, you know, casino town, so to speak. If you act before the end of this year, nobody's suggesting that you would even wish to do that. Okay, nobody's advocating. I don't advocate, but nobody's advocating to put on for discussion's sake. You may not wish to do that. Frankly, many places would like to have a casino. In actuality, you are exempt anyway because if you read the, if you read the what, what was given, they're not permitted to put put one within 25 miles of a Category One, of which we are within 25 miles right, of the Category medics. One. Right. So, so in actuality, they're not allowed to put one this close anyway. Today. Today. Yeah. No. But uh, there may not be any. Uh, if the board doesn't have any opposition to having a casino here anyway, there's no reason to do this. Yeah, it's just if you want to consider it. If not, you don't have. Does anybody want to make a motion? So I had a question. So if you're making a motion, you're actually saying that you wish to prohibit them. Yes, sir. What, what's a class four casino? What's that mean? They're little minis. So they're like said, I think it's only three hundred. <coughs> 100 to 300 yeah. machines. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if like one of the buyers want to put in, put in a few machines or something? No. No. It, it's like, it's from, it was from like 35 to 750. Right. And Laura's right. As a practical matter, these are going to be linked up with the primary license holders, and, and they're meant to allow to open smaller establishments that are really intended to be in more or less urban places that allow them to operate under the same umbrella. So Lori's right, they're not going to put one within the same Coming. confines of their own Coming major casinos. Casino. <laughs> this is sort of like, being, which list do you want to be on? Because it's not coming here. No, 25 okay. linear miles. Like of an existing category one, two, or three casino. So I'm asking, and I'm suggesting, by the way, oh, that you not. Hmm? Excuse me. It's a minimum of 300 and maximum of 750 slot machines. So it's not small. Oh. Right. It's 300 okay. slot machines. At, so at least. If we could find a place in Bridgeville for 300, for 300 slot machines, yeah, it might be an interesting idea to allow you know, to have it. It's the it's the default position of our community that. This, let, me, let, me, let me take a moment to get on my... On, on, on. The default position in Bridgeville is no. If it comes down... Yeah, sure. Only if you're Well, I understand. But broader than this ordinance, I'm trying to, to point out. Be careful what you say no to. You may get something worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Being on the list of being on the list of places that said no, we don't want, you know, mini casinos. Put you on a list. It tells you something about that community. I don't think anybody else is going to read it besides the people that are trying to open this one of these up. But why are we saying no? Think about it for a second. You know, just because we're allowed to say no, maybe we should say. Yes. Let's be on that list if they wanted to put an investment in our town. That's let us be open to something occurring. All of our other rules still are maintained. I have a question. Okay, so if we we can always we just take it. What? Take it. 
<laughs> um, we can always change the order. Yeah, you can change it back one yeah. time. So if somebody time. does come, they aren't going to look like this. See, process. here's That's the legislators. Uh, the legislation I hear you. threw it out there. You have until New Year's Eve if you want to say no. And you have one shot to do it. If not, you're a yes community, which is probably theoretically not. If you are a no and you do pass the resolution, any time in the future, you can rescind the resolution one time. Then you're permanently a yes community. So you can become a permanent yes community by doing nothing now and letting the New Year's come in. Or you can pass this and then when they do come, which they won't, you can reverse yourself. And no one is going to look past your list and come out and ask you to please say yes at some point. Obviously, this will be uh, 21 year old, I hope. Yeah, that's... I don't know, Gremlin would be 18, right? Oh, yeah. No, it's 12 years old. We're not anyway. It's draining. It's draining. How old are you going to be to play the number? number? Twenty one or eight? It's not twenty one because they know. It's twenty one. It's twenty one. Oh. Motion stands. Motion from our Sherry. Is there a second? Yeah, a second. And Bruce Calarducci. Second it. All those in favor? I'll uh, say aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Have a good one.